in this session we are going to work on deleting account okay whichever user we are having if the user wants to delete the account the user can do that one okay now we are going to perform that action before that we are having some points that you should be very careful on that now inside this demo database you can see here i'm having user id as 3 user name is khanam okay id 1 and id 2 i have already deleted and again if i register new user the id number will start from 3 now if this user has ordered something that data will be stored inside the tables okay if you want to delete the data from there then also you can do that one but in this we are not going to perform maybe in future if the user wants to reactivate the account then we can perform some logic and we can get all the information of that user so we are not going to delete that one as of now we are just going to delete the account of the user okay now let me just show you the demo now i'll just log in using khanam login successful now inside this you can see this user has not ordered anything now when i click on this delete account here i am having two options delete account and don't delete account if i click on don't delete account i will be redirected to profile page again if i just click on delete account it will just say me it is sad to go and this account is deleted now inside this also we can add plenty of things like confirming before the user is getting deleted okay we are having many concepts inside this as well if you want you can implement that as well now first we are just going to start with deleting the account okay now inside the database let me just show you now this user will be deleted from the database and entire data you can see all the data has been deleted from the database as well now if i just register new user the user id will start from user id 4 i'll just write here khanam okay let me just write here seema now seema email i'll just write here seema click on register okay registration is successful now i'll come to database i'll refresh this one now inside database you can see user id will start from 4 here i'm having username okay rest entire data is same whatever i have entered that entire thing will be stored inside this one but if this user is having some data inside pending orders or inside that one that data will be there as it is okay now let's work on deleting account i'll just come i'll close this now inside this users area i am just going to create one file i will just write here delete account dot php now this delete account whatever form you can see here ok let me just come here i will just log in using seema password 1234 login successfully logged in ok now seema profile is displayed now when i click on this delete account you can see this get variable is active and inside this i am having this deleting account delete account and don't delete account two options so what i am going to do inside this profile.php for delete account i have already given this one let me just come down you can see for delete account i have already created this get variable now if this get variable is set only then i have to delete this data i will just copy this one ok let me just copy this entire thing here i will be pasting that one instead of this my orders i am just going to copy this here i will be pasting that now i have to include delete account file delete account dot php i will save this now here i am just going to come inside this i will just write this h1 delete i will save this now i will come to my project i will refresh this one login I have to give khanam 1 to login successful ok now you can see here i am having khanam profile now when i click on this delete account you can see this is active and here i am having this delete whatever data i have written inside this delete that is been displayed for me i will just delete this one now instead of that we are just going to write this basic boilerplate of html ok later on if you want to remove this you can remove but i will not get suggestion if i don't write this one so i am just writing this and inside this let me just write a delete account delete account below this body first i'll just create h3 and for this h3 i'll just give the class as text center if we don't give this text center then also the text will come in the middle as i already told you inside this profile.php for this we have already given this one so i don't need this i'm just going to remove 
instead of this i'll just write a text success okay so that my text will come in a uh, green color if you want to give in red color then you can give text danger okay let me just give text danger only here text danger and also i just want some margin i want only on bottom so here i'll just give margin bottom inside this i'll just write here deleting account or delete account whatever it is let me just write here delete account i'll save this now let me just refresh this one you can see here i'm having delete account now below this i'm having these two input fields i'm just going to create that one for that first we have to create one form i'll just create the form action i'm not going to give anything because i'm going to write the php logic in the same file then here i'll be writing method method will be post and we don't have to pass any attributes like eng type we are having we don't have to pass that one because we are not going to insert or move any images and for this form i'm just going to give some margin top margin top let me just write here 5 okay based on your requirement whatever stylings you want you can give you don't have to copy the exact same thing it completely depends on you if you make changes only then you will improve your coding skills inside this first i'll just create one div for this div i'll just give the class as form outline okay these are bootstrap classes and for this inside this i'm just going to create input field type will be submit okay because we are going to submit the data we are not going to insert anything inside the database so we don't have to give type is equal to text type is equal to email type is equal to password we don't have to give that one okay directly once we click on the button we are just going to delete the data or we are not going to delete the data so we are just giving type is equal to submit next i'm just going to give the class okay i'll just write here form control okay this is bootstrap class form control okay if you don't want to type the entire thing you can directly go to bootstrap website and from there you can copy this code inside this i'm just going to give the name name this is very important i'll just give the name as delete and also value i'm just going to give inside this value i'll just write here delete account i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see here i'm having this delete account now this is very large i don't want this one so for that i'm just going to give the width for this diff first let me just give here margin 4 okay that is margin bottom and for this input field i'm just going to give the width as 50 i'll save this now i'll refresh this one let me continue you can see it is taking 50 percentage but i want this in the middle so for that i'm just going to give margin auto once i give this one this is going to divide the space equally between left and right and this has come in the middle if you want to give any outline any stylings okay whatever you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give only so much i'll just copy the same thing below this i'm just going to paste now for this for this also type will be submit classes will be same and here i'll just write here don't delete don't delete and here also i'm just going to write don't delete account don't delete account i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now here i'm having don't delete account now below that i just need one okay now below that we are not having anything we are just having this delete account and don't delete account okay we are done with this basic html now we have to write php code for that okay which data we have to delete we have to delete the session data okay whichever user is logged in that data we have to delete and inside profile.php we have included this connect.php we have included this function and also we have started the session here now inside this delete account i don't have to include this entire thing because this delete account file we are including inside profile.php so this is by default it is included inside delete account so i don't have to give this one inside delete account now if i want i can just remove this one basic boilerplate of html then also it is going to work i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see i'll be having the same stylings there is no effect in stylings whatever bootstrap classes i have applied here that is also been applied because inside profile.php we have already included this bootstrap link okay so that is the reason all the stylings is been applied okay i have written this delete account now below this what i am going to do i'm just going to write the php code i'll just write here php and inside this first i'm just going to access the session variable let me just come to user login and inside this we have already created this session variable i'm just going to copy this one and inside this first let me just create one variable i'll just write here username session okay whatever name you want you can give i'll just write here username session is equal to that session name 
okay whichever user is logged in that data will be stored inside the session variable and that value i'm just going to assign to this user session variable now here i'm just going to check for the condition if is set now inside this i'm just going to write here post then i'll just pass this variable i'll just copy this one value and inside this i'm just going to paste what i'm telling if i click on this button only then i have to perform the delete if i click on this button i should not perform the delete and i should be redirected to index page or profile page okay whichever page you want to redirect that page you can give now once i click on this button i'm just going to write the delete query so for that i'll just create one variable delete query inside this i'm just going to write delete from table name my table name is user table then i have to pass this condition this is very very important if you don't give this where then whatever data we are having inside the user table that entire thing will be deleted where user name is equal to this particular name okay if these and these are getting matched only then i have to delete the data or else i should not delete any data from the database let me just come here now inside this inside this my store inside this user table you can see here i am having user id here i am having khanum okay all the data has been stored for khanum now this entire data i have to delete from the database and if this column name okay that is if this user name and this variable whatever we are having inside session if these and if these are getting matched only then i have to delete the data once i write this one i have to execute this one i'll just write here my sqli query and this is going to take two parameters connection variable and wherever we have written query we just have to pass that one once we have written the query here i'm just going to check for the condition if my query is executed successfully then two things i have to do first i have to destroy the session variable and then i have to display the alert and after displaying the alert i should be redirected to index page okay inside this session this variable will be stored once this query is executed successfully then whatever data we are having inside this session that i have to destroy here i'm just going to write session destroy session okay whichever session we are having that is going to be destroyed session destroy once i destroy the session here i'm just going to write this one echo i'll just open the script tag and here i'm just going to close let me just write a script script and inside this i'm just going to write here alert okay whatever message you want you can give as of now i'm just going to write here deleted account account deleted account deleted successfully i'll just close this one and also i'm just going to redirect it to index page i'll just write here echo and inside this i'm just going to write here script tag i'll just close this script tag here we just have to write window dot open window dot open and inside this i'm just going to pass index file my index file is present inside root so here i just have to write index dot php and i just have to open in the self tab okay that is the same tab so here i'll be writing self okay these are the things you have to perform if this query is executed successfully then whatever variable is stored inside the session first we have to destroy that one okay if you want to display alert or message whatever you want you can display then after that i should be redirected to index page because that profile page will not be visible to the user now so i should be redirected to index page okay this is the thing we are going to perform if we click on this delete button now again i'm just going to copy the same thing below this i'm just going to paste i'll just close this one now when i click on this don't delete i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one inside this one what i'm going to do directly i'm just going to redirect it to profile page i'll copy this here i'll be pasting that one and inside this i'm just going to pass the profile page okay in the same file i'm just going to redirect okay this is the simple logic for deleting the account from the database let me just come here i'll refresh this now here i'm having delete account and don't delete account now when i click on this don't delete account here you can see delete account is active as soon as i click on this don't delete account i should be redirected to profile page i'll click on this okay it is not working let me just check for that here i'm having don't delete when i click on this i should be redirected to profile page okay here let me just change the spelling i'll just write here post and here also i'm just going to write post i'll save this i'll refresh this one now when i click on this delete account you can see i am redirected to profile page and inside this i'm having all this data now again i'll just come to delete account 
now here when i click on this delete account you can see i will be getting this alert account deleted successfully okay i will be redirected to home page and inside database also this data okay whatever data i am having here that entire thing will be deleted you can see the entire data is been deleted okay now again i have to register new user i have to store the new user data now if i register new user the user id will start from 2 okay this is how we are going to work and also when we host this website each user will be having different ip address and using that ip address we can access whatever information we want using that ip address we can access that one okay now we are done with this deleting part okay what we have done we have just created one simple form and inside this we are having two input fields okay that is type is equal to submit for one we have given delete and for another we have given delete account now inside this php if i click on this delete then i am just going to perform this delete operation if i click on this don't delete i am redirected to profile page once i perform this delete operation i should just destroy the session variable because whatever data we have stored inside this session that we have to destroy again if the new user gets logged in that user information should be stored inside session